Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video is a very interesting day because we're planning on going to where? To, uh, to do island hopping. Yeah, so island hopping. When you are in Boracay, island hopping is literally mandatory because everyone does it. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna share my experience, so definitely stay tuned. Once again, we have to walk through this pathway. This is very central. It looks really nice. I always film it just for you guys. Okay, so we got the towel for island hopping. Let's go. All right, so the good thing about staying at the Hanan Crystal Sand Resort is the island hopping dock is just nearby. So if you ever come, stay at this resort. Guys, one thing I want to mention about island hopping, it usually starts in the morning. So let's say you come to Barakai the first day, there's no way you're going to be doing it that day. You'll need to book it. Now the question is, where do you go to find island hopping tour? They're all over the island. You can just talk to one of these people who are standing there advertising island tour. But one thing I cautious you is they usually set the price very high. So I recommend just negotiating, come to a conclusion, how many people, and then if you have a family, you can make a deal where you have a private tour, which is exactly what we did. Okay, we are getting close. I think they're already on the boat. What do you think? Oh, they're there? Okay. They're right over there. Guys, just wanted to quickly show you the view here. It's around eight o'clock. Nice and beautiful mix of sun and cloud, right? White sandy beach. You guys are ready for uh, island hopping? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. You know what island hopping is? What is island hopping? It's the over boat, there. The boat. the boat. Do what? Do what? Uh, jump on the boat. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're gonna jump. You're gonna jump in the boat and into the water. How about that? Yes. Yes. Okay, so here is the rest of the family. We're all ready for this adventure. You excited? Yes. Yeah. You good? Yeah. We're Very good. Excited. Yes. Happy? Happy. Sunscreen on everything? Yeah. Sunscreen? You have to go sunscreen, okay? I got burnt. The front. All right, we're here. All right. Oh, yeah. so this is the, the youngest. Turning two. Hello. He's happy. He's happy. All right, guys. So we are here just by the dock right over there. Uh, we're just waiting for the boatman to call us and then we'll head out. Show you guys the whole experience. I uh, can't have this iPhone in the water so I won't show you any water activity unfortunately all right let's head to the station okay are you excited yes I this, look happy this is the pinnacle of our trip this is what we've been waiting for yes. Well, one of the activities that I is. Want it to All right. Oh, okay. So we're gonna head up onto the boat. There's just a plank that will help us. It's a little wobbly. Hopefully, I don't fall. Thank you very much. All right, everyone is suited up, ready to go. You need a life jacket, it's very important when you're on a boat. You never know what's gonna happen. So guys, uh, I'm gonna show you what the boat looks like. It's a bit loud. Uh, I'll show you the scenery here. Okay? So yeah, this boat has this extension. It looks like it's supposed to help with floating the boat as well. You can actually hang out and watch the view from there as well. And then uh, similarly, there's 
the extension on the opposite side. That's yeah, pretty cool. Nice boat. Okay, we're ready to leave. We are ready to go. So guys, we finally got onto our first island. Um, we'll check it out, give you a quick uh, rundown of what's happening. Yeah. So I just wanted to give you a, a quick rundown of what happened. So to get off the boat, basically you have to uh, get drenched in water. There's no way about it, unfortunately. All right guys, so I finally am on the island after that uh, wet encounter um, we're gonna be going somewhere I'm not sure what this island is called you know what this island is called I'm not sure not sure well when I find out I'll let you guys know uh, it's nice there's actually other beach goers other boats and on this side they do have like places where you can like hang out and have a drink and some souvenirs, people are selling stuff. There's actually a sculpture of Barakai made out of sand. So I think that's quite interesting. You can take a picture of that. Um, the sand itself is from obviously the surrounding sand. It's a nice sculpture. Right, so they're currently taking a picture. This is a pretty nice makeshift. Uh, Sand. Uh, they're almost done. And yeah, I think these people are just taking pictures to earn a living a little bit here. Yeah, there's one activity you can do when you're on this specific island. I'm pretty sure there are others as well. So I just found out that this beach is called Belling High Beach. Um, this is one of many beaches that we'll be on. There's uh, kayaking if you want. Uh, there is a fee associated with it. You'll have to pay a donation or something. Or you can kind of like haggle around. Uh, someone's going to boat you out. And then all you do is just take pictures. Uh, they got these extension cords that prevents the boat from leaving. And it gets anchored right over there. Yeah, that is Belling High Beach for you guys. More people taking pictures over there. Okay, one interesting fact I just found out that this stairway right here actually goes to a resort that used to be owned by Manny Pacquiao. But since the government came down hard on these islands, uh, shut down the island completely for six months. Uh, they found out that the resort was legally built, illegally built. So they ended up breaking it down and closing it. So this walkway goes to the local community around here, but also uh, it, it, it has access to Manny Pacquiao's uh, resort. Pretty interesting, eh? Guys, be prepared to get wet when you do island hopping. Uh, the way they dock the boat is a bit farther from the land, so you literally have to like walk across. So yeah, I, I got soaked and wet. But thank God, a lot of my clothes is like dry. This is a dry proof uh, boat, so it's okay. If you get wet, it's not dry proof. Yeah, tip number one. Second event or second activity that uh, we'll be doing is snorkeling in the middle of the sea. Never tried it before. I'll probably wear my vest just in case she hits the fan, you know what I mean? But yeah, the, we're in the middle of nowhere and this is where we'll be snorkeling just behind us. Crazy. Wish me luck.
One of the activities that is part of the itinerary is uh, snorkeling. It's a really good experience.